For this training session, we're going to be talking through the different types of ladders carried in the fire service. We'll also be talking about the different types of uh, the terminology associated with those ladders and the care and maintenance for those ladders. And finally, pickups for ladder carriers that will later lead to uh, the raises that we'll be demonstrating. Let's start with the attic ladder. This is a 10 foot ladder carried in the evening, used for getting into tight places. It's 10 feet tall and folds down to the width of four inches. Used for getting into any tight places, predominantly attic scuttles, hence the name. The next series of ladders here are roof ladders. Roof ladders are straight ladders, one section, with uh, collapsible hooks on each end. In this assortment here, we have a 14 foot roof ladder carried on engines, and a 16 and a 20 foot, they're typically carried on trucks. All ladders, straight ladders, and uh, extension ladders we talk about next, uh, are tested to 750 pounds of uh, strength with, of low capacity with a four to one safety margin. The next group here are extension ladders. We've got a 24 foot extension ladder, typically carried on engines, either a 20 or 24 foot, and a 35 foot extension ladder, typically carried on trucks. This is a Fresno ladder. It's carried on some trucks. Uh, the main purpose of it is to get to NFP NFPA regulations for required ladder length. It's not a very usable ladder, and it'll probably never come off your truck. Let's talk a little bit about ladder terminology. First of all, the sides of the ladder are called the beams. The rungs are for climbing. The base of the ladder is the heel, and the top of the ladder is a tip or the top. For the extension ladders, the top section, or the bottom section is the base. The top section that extends is the fly. Keeping the fly into place are dogs to lock into place and hold the ladder uh, from uh, retracting when extended. The rope used to raise the fly section is referred to as a halyard. Near the heel of each ladder will be the length. Here is indicating a 16 and a 20 foot. On the extension ladders, you'll note the 24 and the 35. Now let's talk about the care and maintenance of ladders. After each use, they should be inspected for wear and proper function. Uh, ladders, uh, aluminum ladders should be cleaned with mild detergent and double lot steel wool. Rubbing the places, uh, any built up tar on the rungs and on the beams. Uh, a flat file can be used for any burrs or uh, gouges that are marked on the beams or the rungs. Any areas on the rungs where the serrations are work or ground flat, they should be removed. That ladder should be removed from service. The hooks should be placed to protect the proper deployment and make sure they're secure in place when they're deployed and easily retracted. Check and make sure that there's good working of the pulley and that the halyard is not excessively worn. And the keepers for the dogs will snap and spring into place and will hold uh, the ladder when extended. Let's take a look at the heels of these ladders. These straight ladders and extension ladders are equipped with a heel spur. Uh, ladders that are typically deployed on the exterior buildings will have a have a spur like this. Ladders that are deployed interior, like this attic ladder, will have a foot pad that rotates in the place. 